Oh, g'day scrappers, time to melt the gold foils. Uh, if you remember the gold foils off the ram stick challenge that I took off, uh, I tried to melt it down just using map gas. It didn't really work. It just ended up, you know, burning it in a way. But uh, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to retry burn, uh, melting it and see what it turns out like anyway and we might still get it assayed and see if, how much gold content there is in just the foils melted down but uh, I'm not really confident because I, I use the map gas quite a lot so I might have burnt away some of the fine gold but we'll give it a go anyway and see what it comes up with so I'm just using the little one kilo uh, crucible this time and I'll just uh, tip it all in so it's uh, still got foils in here uh, it's got um, crumbles it's got little copper rocks it's all sorts of things so there's about that much about half a crucible in there a bit less so that should melt down quite a bit and then what I'm going to do is, I'm not actually going to pour it. I've got a new uh, system that I've a friend of mine showed me. He said, don't bother pouring from your crucible if you're not really fussed about uh, the shape of it. Because if you go to sell it, like sell gold or sell silver, you can just leave it in the crucible to cool down and it'll just be the shape of the inside. And um, he showed me some buttons that he'd done about half an inch high. Of silver and gold and uh, they look great so um, because when you pour the uh, the metal cools down and you just get slag and stuff at the end of it it's not really pretty so uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it in here once it melts it cools down and uh, we'll see what it looks like but uh, hopefully this all melts and we'll see what we get so I'll just give it a go and we'll be back soon with uh, see what it looks like Okay, well, it's, uh, I can hear it actually bubbling away, so it's obviously all melted. So now I can uh, turn her off. But that's a big difference in uh, time. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. And uh, the amount of time that I spent trying to melt it down with map gas was, you know, crazy. So I'll just uh, let it cool down now. I'm going to let it cool down in in the actual furnace itself so it's going to take a while all right well i've let it cool right down and um, we'll see what it looks like it's i let it cool down pretty much all day and now it's really cold if i can just get it out There we go. All right. Well, it's got a big hole in the bottom of it. But the top of it looks <laughs> quite nice, actually. It looks nice and smooth. Uh, the, obviously, there's borax stuck all to it, so I'm going to have to chip away at some of this stuff. Gonna have to chip into there somehow. Um, probably use a, a fine chisel or something to. I'll try polishing her up and seeing what it comes up as. But it doesn't look too bad. Might just see if it comes up a bit. Oh yeah, it's just the borax powder, kind of.
All right. Well, it looks kind of okay. Um, it's a bit different. It's it's not as red as copper, and it's not as yellow as brass. It's sort of in between. Looks all right. All right, well, there we go. So, um, yeah, I guess now we just gotta find out what its uh, purity is. Um, Just need a different kind of brush to get into this cavity here but the top looks quite nice it's nice and smooth so yeah i i think i'll just uh i'll take it in and see um and do what i you know i was meant to do at the start with the original uh ram stick challenge and that is to to see what the purity is just from the melted gold foils and um, and yeah that'll give us a better idea whether it's worthwhile doing it like this um, obviously I can see that it's 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 you know pretty low low value in gold um, whether it's eight grams uh, sorry eight carat gold which is the minimum that we need for to be able to sell it um, but always worse comes to worse we could always add a little bit of pure gold to it to bring it up but uh it'd be interesting to see what it comes up as anyway i'll just weigh it up and all right well if you remember the uh gold foils that we started off with was uh 90 grams so let's see how much of the 90 grams we actually get oh 85 grams so basically we lost um five grams from but that would have come out in the borax and and uh, the stuff that burnt away, the impurities and stuff. So um, yeah, we've pretty much got everything that we, we started off with. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, it's a pretty little button. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just the question is whether how much gold is actually in it. But we'll find out and, and um, I'll come back to you as soon as I know. Beautiful. Get that. So that's, uh, what is that, 86% copper? Yeah, 10% nickel. 10%, 10%, 10 nickel. Nickel. Oh, 3 .5. Yeah, 3.45. Yeah, 3.45. 3.45, okay. And just uh, turn it on that side as well. And turn it on that side as well. Okay, well that's the verdict. So 86.46% copper, 10% 10, 10 nickel, and 3.45% gold. So that's not too bad actually, 3.45%. Um, still uh, pretty low because there's a lot of refining to get the gold out of it. But... Um, yeah, 3.45%. It's uh, it's actually probably a little bit higher than I expected. Um, and uh, a lot higher than some people uh, reckon it was. So I think some people got confused because it was uh, gold foil and they were probably thinking that was from gold pins. So gold foils obviously have a lot more. But uh, yeah, I was surprised at the 10% nickel there's still quite a lot of nickel in it and 86.45% copper well that's no surprise 
so um, yeah it's not a not a bad percentage um, but I still think that you know it probably is you know worthwhile removing the foils with hydrochloric acid and and um, and whatever uh, just to remove more of that copper because uh, it is a low purity 3.45 percent it needs to be 33 percent before they really buy it so but still you know and uh, he was saying that if you add 24 carat you'd need a lot of 24 carat gold to put into it and you know you might lose a little bit of purity from that 24 carat if you use you know put it in with so much copper but uh, yeah look um, I'm still pretty happy with it um, all right well at least we've uh, finally finalized the the 1000 ram stick challenge and so now we know that if you uh, remove the foils and just melt it straight down you're going to get three around 3.45 percent gold all right well keep scrapping guys have fun and i'll catch you next time